What's goody fellas and welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different than our state only rebuilds. We are rocking with the Legends rebuild. So one of our lovely mods in chat named Critical. You might have even seen him in the comment section, Critical with a K. He suggested why don't you do rebuilds but bring Legends back to their team. Starting with Michael Vick. So I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and do it. Oh, see, this is the thing. If we make him 85, he's only going to go up two per year, which means 87, 89, 91, 93. So I think what I'm actually going to do here is go with the 93 power and the 85 accuracy and kind of make him how I visualized he would be. And then we're just kind of going to full send it. So 85 Jew. So he's at 89. That's fine because he'll be 91, 93, 95, 97 by final year with 99. Chilling. All right. So Virginia Tech, four star school, 88, 84, 90. We have Michael Vick's career to turn them into a national championship winner. Can we do it with Michael Vick? It's going to be tough. I hate the ACC. It is my least favorite conference in the game because I just seem to find it annoying. But uh, we'll do what we can. So Michael Vick, 89 overall, 99 speed, 95 agility, 99 excel. We're, you know, it's still a fantasy. We're trying to have fun with it. 93 power, 85 accuracy. Now, the reason I made him so overpowered was because if you go over 81 overall, I believe it is, one thing I've noticed, is that they only progress by two. So if I made him 82, he'd go to 84, 86, 88, 90. So at 89, he goes up to 91, 93, 95, 97. Bit more competitive come that final year. But he's going to get redshirted. And if he transfers, I'm throwing my computer out the window. Oh yeah, we have no restrictions, do we? We can just recruit wherever we want. Oh, bad. <laughs> we, there's no Virginia only. There's no Virginia only. We can do whatever we want. Oh, man, that's broken. That's got to be a troll name. Ox Hill Glass Manor. Okay, nice. We got some good, solid players out of that. We got Alabama. Oh, my God, bro. Whatever. Fluff it. Uh, let's go straight after Victor here. Let's go straight after Chris Wheeler. Let's go straight after George Mueller. Straight after Pierre. All right. Bama on the road. It's an L. I could have possibly guessed it was going to be an L. Okay, Victor Heron. We're losing. Okay, I'm not going to get Victor Heron. Chris Wheeler's in the bag. You're in the bag. Beautiful. You can drop that down to three on it. Yeah, I don't even know if I really want Chad Olsen. He might be. He looks kind of ass. <laughs> uh, let's go 700 into LaRue. How do I say this name, chat? La LaRue? LaRue Carlson. Got you, got you. All right, let's see who we got on low lock. Charleston. I didn't know there was Charleston in West Virginia, by the way. A lot of four stars. There are also a lot of athletes. I don't need athletes. More receivers. I don't want receivers, though. All right, we lost the ECU. This is not a good look, chat. Uh, 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 there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Finally signing some people. We're two and five, though. Still a big issue that we uh, have to work on here. Jess, let's go. Jess is already committed. Let's get it. We beat rank 10 Miami on the road. I, you know what? I'll take it. Michael Lemon. I guess we'll take it. I would love to have a guy on the team called Lemon. That's pretty much all we can do. Not a great class. 30 to 31. Beat Virginia. We're on a little bit of a comeback here. Okay, there goes uh, Merville Humphrey and Robeson. 379 receivers. Players leaving. Woo! No Michael Vick. Yes, sir. No Vic. We remained a four-star school. Ten four-stars. One five-star. Five three-stars. Five, three Nineteen total. I was only expecting Vic to go up two. But obviously, we've broken that curse. We have 96 accuracy. 74 awareness. Bit of a scrambler. Bit of a cheeky scrambler. 91 throw power. 88 accuracy for my boy, Michael Vic. Let's get it. I don't need you, Lemon. I'm sorry. You are cut. The only players I'm going to consider redshirting here are ones that don't get to start right now, but I'm afraid might leave. Like, if I redshirt Merville, I think he might leave. But I kind of want to let Marco Lee play out his last season. Tight end. See, this is another thing. I'm going to redshirt uh, Humphrey here. Let Duffy have a year. All right, let's have a cheeky gee, shall we? Outside linebacker, middle linebacker. Thanks, man. Another four-star linebacker. This is a kicker I'm talking about. 85. We take those. First year of Vic Mania. We're only going to recruit this uh, this year as well. We're going to recruit this year as well. 
and probably next year. But we are B pluses across the board in our Michael straight 90s with Michael Vick. Okay, we need linebackers, uber mega bad. All right, this class is uh, looking to be solid. If we can get everybody here, the team might already be complete, but it's important we get it done this year so they have the most team to progress. There goes Notre Dame. Okay, uh, how did we get locked out here? Playing style is a deal breaker. So this guy is literally not going to commit anywhere. Are you kidding me? Okay, five-star running back, just big chill in there. Massive lead on Riley Graham. Beautiful. We can drop that down. Huge lead on Ryan Williamson. Let's go ahead and drop that bad boy down. Do I really want this 85 kicker? I kind of do. Alright, let's just see how this plays out for now. I need some people to hurry up and commit like as soon as humanly possible. We are ranked. I knew it. Okay, let's try and get John Ward smashed out early here. And then we got six visits now as well. Oh boy. All right, well, let's get him in as soon as humanly possible. John Ward pretty much in the bag. Lead on Anthony. Lead on Darnell Carter. Lead on Joshua. Lead on John and Joshua. Let's go out ahead and pick ourselves up another cheeky uh, cornerback here. Oh man, we, we're going to sign everybody without even trying here, man. Well, we just got to beat UNC and Pitt back to back. BAM! And that is an L, chat. That is how to mess up your streak with a fat, juicy L. And there goes two more offensive linemen, finally! Thank you. Nope, that's my strong safety. Look at this class, though. If we assigned, if we just wanted uh, linebackers and offensive linemen, and we are going bananas right now. Absolutely bananas. Oh, he did unlock. Is it because we don't have the lead anymore? That might be it. Yeah, no, it's still a deal breaker. Okay, uh, we got the lead back. Oh, because he visited. All right, we're going to slap 700 on. Miami, big game. Ooh, that is a tough stretch, man. Look at this class, though. Holy moly. Man, we have gotten so many busts today. This guy's a running back, though. Ben uh, Thompson, nice little cheeky steal right at the end of the season. This class is just insane, though. We went 6-7. and seven. That's terrible. My cornerback is leaving. Aaron Smith, 80 overall tight end, is finally going to commit. Wait, he locked? He committed! Did he not commit the 80 tight end? I swear he just committed. James Witherspoon and Morris McNair, Adam Vaughn. That should be the number one class. Apparently it's top five. It's right. We're behind Alabama. Are you serious? What, you signed one more five star than me? Went down to a three star. It's all right. We only need one more year of recruiting anyway. So Vic already up to a 97, bro. 97. Holy moly. Oh, yeah. No, this is perfect. Linebacker's looking a little more, bit more juicy now, at least. Multiple strong safeties. Holy fluff. And you can play linebacker. There you go. I only need one. Uh... Bro, this guy can play defensive end. This strong safety can play defensive end. We went, we got a top 25 class. Then we, no, we got a top five class, which was rank five. Then we got rank two. We've gone down in prestige, but the players we got in those two years should be amazing. DT looking a little bit weak. It's okay though. All right, we're just gonna go, what do we need? Best available with a little cheeky mix of DT in there. I wouldn't mind a fullback. So let's go pick up a couple fullbacks here. See if we can scam one of them. Five-star QB. Hey, we're going to need... There's going to have to be life after Michael Vick. What if Michael Vick goes down with injury? Fullback, fullback, fullback. Who has the best bonus? It's probably going to be Slade Carrington or Joel Henderson. That should be a dub. Thank you very much. ECU would have got better. School record. Okay. Michael Vick broke a record. Once we get the fullback, we should be good to go. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Okay, we're not going to get Jeff Todd. <laughs> Uh-oh. Thad Ross. Do I want Thad Ross? I do want Thad Ross. For what we specifically need, kind of a weak class. We'll come back. Lowlock wasn't that crazy this year. And it doesn't matter. Each year that goes past, it becomes more and more irrelevant anyway. As long as we get a fullback and a D lineman, we'll be fine. 62-0. We're ranked. Like we bloody well deserve to be. We're still only B+, plus though. I, our team doesn't really seem to be progressing. So <laughs> that... Like, I don't know. It seems... We'll see what happens. Locked out, locked out, locked out. We're not going to get merit, I don't think. Oh, man. We are so far behind. All right. We get Joel. We're good. We got D-Lyman. We're good. 
Can we get some more dubs? Big dub over Miami. We still find a way to lose somehow. Oh, man. Okay, there goes the fullback. Now that we have the fullback, we're pretty much done. That's all we needed literally was the fullback. We are done. We have built the team from head to freaking toe. We're going to have to get past teams like UNC, though. I just don't see it happening, man. There we go. 22-23. We are... Wow. Uh, we made the conference championship. We really need to get better fast, though. We've done pretty much everything we could possibly do. The team is in the best possible position to succeed. Bam. Michael Vick. Outstanding. Oh, look at that. 11-3. We're now safe. You're declaring? Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> You're transferring? Uh, absolutely not. You cannot be persuaded. Oh, man. There's nothing I can do to make this guy stay. So, two years in, Vic has 6,100 yards, 68 touchdowns, and 16 interceptions. Averaging about 226 yards per game, 57% completion percentage. This is very, very good uh, for two seasons. He's about to enter his junior season. The team that is around him right now is going to definitely uh, massively buff this year training results let's get a gee shall we that's what i'm talking about yes sir vic is a 99 98 agility what's the throw power looking like though 93 94 that's what we like to see uh malachi moore's up to a 97 kata moore up to a 97 clements up to a 94 punter and kicker are going crazy too good on him receivers are all up to like a high 80s now and we still have another year of progress to go that is exactly what I wanted to see. All right, we're starting the season rank 21. The CPU knows that they are taking over. If there's any seniors, I'm probably going to redshirt them, like this guy. Because next year is Vic's last year, and I need them around. I really, really, really need them around. Okay, so I'm still not seeing... Like, the offense is great, yes, but... 87 defense is not natty worthy. What exactly is going on on the defense here? It's worrying me a little bit. 86 left in, like 83, 80, 78. I mean, it's not bad. Like, it could be better, but I think it's more solid than 87, right? Oh, well. Anyway, let's see how we do in season four. All right. Um, yeah, UNC is probably going to flog us. We're rank nine, bro, and we got Miami too. Come on. Yes! We beat North Carolina! Get out of here! I don't want to hear it. We got Pitt, though. I don't think we can beat Pitt. Can we beat Pitt? Ooh, 6-0. I like it. I like it a lot. That's two massive freaking dubs right there, back-to-back. -back. Georgia Tech is definitely a trap. This is, without a doubt, a trap game. what I say, man? I knew it. Absolute trap game. Okay, I think we should still be in the discussion if we beat Miami. We're rank 11. Miami's undefeated. What? Bro, are you kidding me? Come on, man. Uh, so we're not in the conference championship. If we could somehow finesse to aid here. Now, nah, we, in fact, we dropped down. All right, Oregon State, uh, please beat the brakes off these guys. Let's just go to our last season, season five. Michael Vick setting new records. He beats out Logan Thomas, the quarterback from 2010 to 2013. Uh, he broke his own record for passing touchdowns in a career. Wow. Would you look at that, chat? The team is coming full circle. Robeson trying to declare, hell no. Come back to the team. Uh, our center is gone. Our right tackle is gone. Yikes. I mean, look at this. Look at our offense. It's going to be a 99 quarterback, a 99 running back, and probably like three 97 receivers. Even our tight end is going to be in the 90s. Um, okay, speaking of training results, his backup running back is 94 overall. Backup running back. Fourth string receiver is going to be in the 90s. Oh, man. The, the, he has no excuse. Look, the D, look at the quarterbacks. A high 80s. Super high 80s. Free safeties in 88. The offensive line. We got 90s and high 80s. Ah, oh, I don't think it could get any better. Playing with this team is going to be super OP. Mum's credit card broken. What does a schedule look like there? Wisconsin, Miami. I like this. Not too difficult. 
pretty simple, pretty straightforward. 99 offense, 95 defense. That was the best we could do. Let's have a look. We're ranked 10 in the nation. Of course, we got Vic. I mean, could not be better. 99 awareness, everything. 99 running back, backup 94. Even our fullbacks are 85, 80, 80. Just keep that in mind. Even the fullback. Look at the receivers. 95, 95, 94, 93, 87. Tight ends are 91, backup and 85. Uh, O-line is like mid-80s. 90 left end. 89 right end. Linebackers are pretty goaded. Cornerbacks are all solid. What? Dude, come on. Really? We can still make the natty, chat. We can still make the natty. If we just win out, we're still in the top. We're still in the natty. All we're going to do is win out, but... Easier said than freaking done, am I right? It depends on Homer away, really. Pitt is B pluses. Okay, this should be a dub. This should be a dub. 45 to 21. We handled them comfortably. Now on to the bigger games. Now on to the big bad games. 62-28, big dub -aroonies. Ugh, I don't like this at all. This looks like a trap, even though their defense is booty. I believe. Yes. Finally, take that. Yeah, this is a trap game. Their offense is kind of weak. Kind of really weak. I don't know how their offense... But watch, this will be the game that we lose. I get it. We'll lose. Never mind. Ooh, shit. Let's go. 38-35, we beat the trap. Are you kidding me? Syracuse is the reason. Syracuse. <laughs> Oh, man. Virginia. We built a god squad. This offense is 150 overall. And they can't even beat Virginia. Like, come on. We are in the championship. We're not even ranked, bro. We're not even ranked. We beat Clemson, though. We got Georgia, though. We got a hell of a game. We won the ACC, so that's Pog. Let's get our final little update here. Vic was third. Vic ended with uh, pretty much 14,000 yards, 154 touchdowns, 26 interceptions, 257 yards per game. Vic was big chilling. He also scrambled for 2850, 4.3 average. Uh, longest run is 66. He, he averaged 53 on the ground. So he averaged about 300 plus yards a, a game. Vic is a machine though. Vic just be killing it. 44 touchdowns, four picks. Yeah, first overall. Absolutely, Michael Vick is going first overall. Uh, he broke every school record. He broke that, he broke that, he broke that. The only thing he doesn't have is touchdowns in a game, which is Josh Jackson in 2017. And passing yards in a game was Don Strock. All right, Vic, let's get it. Come on, Vic. Your last game in college. Go, 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 Lofton. Ooh. Not quick. Oh, get in the end zone, please. That's got to be. There's no way he's not in the end zone right there. Got him. Why did he get all fancy there? Oh, oh, Merville. My boy, Merville, though. 26 big ones, okay. Oh, let it go, the nigga. Is he not the 99 wide receiver? Hold on, why is he dropping that? 99 for nothing. 99 don't mean shit. Got him. No way! What? Vic! Vic is bro. Hey man, Vic be throwing some really questionable passes, bro. He be throwing some real questionable passes. We slotted the shit out of that too. So they like not doing their job. Vic feels like super pressured as well. Yeah, we're not getting out of that. They've got a quarterback spy up. Oh. No way, no way, no way. They nearly gave him that shit. Are you serious? They nearly gave him that shit. We win. Well, can Michael Vic? Well, that was the end of the Michael Vic saga. Uh, I can't believe it came to an end via a Syracuse L, but it is what it is. Lesson learned. Uh, if you have any more legends that you'd like us to do from college, make sure you put them down in the comment section. Always open for more. 
Uh, we did win our final game with Michael Vick, so I guess in, in a lot of ways we beat our demons by beating Georgia as well, who always just seem to destroy us. But yes, if you made it this far in the video, then you are the real MVP. I hope the rest of your days are awesome, and for me personally, I'm out. Sometimes I'm one that cannot breathe right underwater. Sometimes I'm one that can't.